Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some more news for you guys about the 4.2.1 Untethered Jailbreak. So a couple days ago, Muscle Nerd uh, tweeted some stuff about the new 0.9.7 Red Snow. So I actually uh, retweeted it on Twitter, and I talked about it a little bit, but I didn't actually make a video. Uh, so I'm actually going to just briefly discuss it with you guys here really quick. So one of the tweets was, since Apple still serves the 4.1 IPSW, not blobs, will do a Windows Red Snow release for untethered 4.2.1 via Monty 4.1. So what that means is that if you already have your 4.1 SHSH files backed up, then you will be able to get an untethered jailbreak on 4.2.1. So basically, you cannot actually actually back up your 4.1 SHSH blobs right now, but if you already have them backed up, then uh, you will be able to get a 4.2.1 untethered jailbreak on Windows and Mac. So because this uh, Windows version actually uses the file system instead of RAM, uh, it makes it really, really slow. So uh, they that's why they haven't actually released it sooner is because they've been trying to work around that, but I guess they haven't found a way. So uh, they're just going to end up releasing it anyway. And the second tweet was, uh, please don't complain too loudly about how slow it takes the Windows version user's file system instead of RAM. And then he said again, slow. So uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that one really quick. Now another really, really exciting thing is a new vulnerability that Pod2G found. So uh, he tweeted about this just three hours ago, and uh, here is a picture of it. And basically, it is just a new vulnerability that he has found that will lead to future jailbreaks, and there is an article on Redmond Pi about it. And uh, he actually was the one who discovered the Shatter exploit, which was going to be incorporated into Green Poison, but they actually delayed it because they wanted to save the Shattered exploit uh, for future iOS devices. So on Redmond Pi, they're also saying that this will be able to be used for a 4.2.1 and 4.3 untethered jailbreak. So that is a really, really great thing. And it's also saying at the time they're unsure if the vulnerability was found in the boot ROM like Line Rain or like Green Poison or if it was actually a user land jailbreak which would be something like Jailbreak Me or Spirit which are both made by Comax. And it's saying that since Green Poison is already going to bring an untethered jailbreak for iOS 4.2.1 it is really likely that this newly discovered vulnerability will be saved for 4.3 or later. So I hope you guys like this video just updating you guys on the 4.2.1 untethered jailbreak status so please comment rate and subscribe and if you guys want to stay updated please just follow my twitter i do tweet a lot and i am really active on there so again hope you guys like this video this is icu signing out